Uh, it makes some sense to hold uh, the line short positions into the meeting tomorrow because uh, market consensus is clearly not for March meeting but uh, uh, June meeting. So I think uh, any disappointment uh, could be uh, not leading uh, much uh, the line uh, strength, uh, especially because uh, we are also having no farm payroll after uh, BOJ meeting. But uh, in our first uh, view, or our main scenario, uh, we actually do not expect a big uh, policy change or surprise at the tomorrow uh, BOJ's meeting. And there are uh, several reasons for uh, BOJ to stay on the sideline at the uh, uh, meeting uh, tomorrow. Firstly, uh, you know, the March is the uh, uh, final month for the Japanese fiscal year, and therefore uh, it is quite important for the BOJ to make the uh, financial market stable. And if we have a big N appreciation, JGB selling or Nikkei selling, uh, that would be quite uh, bad for uh, Japan's uh, financial institutions like uh, Rikers and the banks. And also M volatility may not be welcomed by exporters and importers as well. And also, secondly, uh, I think uh, BOJ uh, still wants to wait for several important uh, inflation data uh, uh, for the next uh, several weeks. Uh, especially uh, next week, we are going to have an uh, outcome of an uh, important spring wage negotiation, and that is something uh, BOJ is uh, very closely monitoring. And uh, uh, tomorrow's meeting is a bit too early uh, because uh, we are not having a final, uh, kind of first estimate uh, of the uh, spring wage negotiation. And also, finally, more fundamentally, uh, we believe that the next uh, policy changes by the BOJ will be more a fundamental big shift with a comprehensive assessment of the current monetary policy. And such a policy change uh, must be decided by the uh, new BOJ governor, uh, likely Weta-san, who will be in charge of the monetary policy over the next five years, not by outgoing governor Kuroda-san. So uh, I think that is uh, important uh, to uh, have uh, good uh, credibility in uh, BOJ's uh, policy framework over the next uh, few years. And for those right. reasons, we do, do not expect a big change in the policy for now. I understand that. What about uh, when the new governor takes on, uh, takes to the job? Uh, I think uh, in the April June quarter, uh, there is very likely a policy change. And uh, we strongly believe that uh, Bank of Japan is going to uh, shift its focus from a 10 year yield to a much shorter yield, like a five or two year. Uh, because uh, uh, for the real economy, clearly uh, not 10 year, but the five or three year uh, uh, yield is much more important for capex and also uh, housing investment. And also a uh, more flexible 10 year yield movement will be helpful for uh, life insurance and the pension funds and so on, which can be also good for uh, Japanese financial market and also Japanese economy. And therefore, I think uh, uh, shifting focus from 10 to 5 or 2 year uh, makes uh, quite a good sense for uh, BOJ uh, policy under new governor Ueda-san. And also, I think uh, Ueda-san doesn't like uh, YCC framework, and he, he is likely to favor uh, more uh, active use in uh, forward guidance like other uh, central banks. So I think uh, uh, exit uh, from the YCC is on the card uh, in the April or uh, June meeting. 